man is so gangster. He got Satan and the demons on the track. So we opened up with Lex out here doing a variation of push up son. Probably work not the shit out of his chest, yo. And then we cut to his cell block where we got a bunch of motherfuckers standing in attention and shit. Like my boy got these motherfuckers looking like a military army, son. And the warden walks up to Lex while he's eating his egg, hands him a fucking envelope. Lex opens that shit, reads it, and he is now a free man. And in case y'all wondering what show this is, I'm talking about Super Superman, Superman, and Lois. Lex is outside the prison now in his casual outfit, and he's going back to remembering when he first arrived to the prison scene, Lois Lane. It turns out it was her words that put him away in the first place. After remembering that, this man doesn't decide to ask for a ride. He just walks out of the prison, son. This motherfucker is still walking, son, constantly checking his watch. After he's done checking his watch, he begins to remember his first day at the prison, son. My man walks up to these motherfuckers out here, and he's cutting this one dude's hair and shit. And these dudes think that he's asking for a trim. Lex is like, nah, play. I cut my own hair. I'm here for the razor, son. I'm here to make an offer. So these motherfuckers ask for what's the offer, son. You billionaire. There. What money you got, player? Lex out here saying that I'm here to offer y'all motherfuckers five dollars. Obviously, all these motherfuckers <laughs> out here laughing and shit. So Lex tells them this: five dollars, and maybe you can keep your cell. Maybe you can keep your teeth, and maybe you can still walk. Obviously, these motherfuckers ain't agreeing to that shit, son. So they begin to fucking jump his ass, son. Start beating the fuck out of Lex. As they beat him, this motherfucker out here is smiling. When you see a motherfucker start laughing and shit and smiling as you're beating their ass, you already should know that this motherfucker at your whooping got some screws loose, son. And clearly, Lex already knew that these dumb motherfuckers were gonna do that shit anyway. Cause later that same day, he's talking to the warden's son, and the warden's just telling him, Haha, dumbass, get your ass whooped and shit. Then Lex proposes a offer. So the warden's like, alright, you gonna bribe me and shit? And Lex's like, I'm not talking with money. I'm talking about your kid's life, nigga. Bro slides him a piece of paper, and it turns out it's this man's house number. So he calls that shit, and here's his fucking son on the other line. Talks about that bad man took his fucking mama and shit, and they're still at the crib. And then Lex hangs up the phone call for him, and tells him, they only got five minutes, motherfucker. So you better do what I say. After that, this man took over the whole prison. And later that night, the cell fucking door is open to the three motherfuckers that jumped Lex earlier in the day. And they obviously get their ass whooped by all the officers, son. And we see Lex and the warden watching how these motherfuckers are being beaten after death. And the warden's like, all right, man, maybe I should have my man to stop. And Lex's like, hell no, nigga. I made him a promise. Then we cut back to this motherfucker still walking to God knows where, son. And your legs are hurting. So then the next day, we see this motherfucker now shaving with the fucking razor that he wanted. After he's done shaving, he tells the dude in the wheelchair that jumped him earlier to clean that shit up, indicating that he paralyzed that motherfucker. And then we see this man just chilling at the dinner table from earlier in the fucking flashback to see the dude waiting him is the guy that jumped him earlier without any teeth. Memory took that motherfucker's teeth, son, over a razor. And they jumped him. But over a razor! And after he orders his five-course meal, the camera pans out to see the dude from earlier that hit him with the fucking razor. He is sitting on him like a chair! That means for the 17 years Lex was in prison, this dude was this man's chair! Oh my god. You should have just took the five dollars play. It ain't no fucking razor worth more than getting sent on by a whole nother dude. We're not present today with Superman Lois just chilling. Then Superman hears that Lex Luthor is here, son, on his farm. They both go outside to see Lex chilling and their front lawn, son. And Lex walks up to their front porch and they have a little conversation, son. And their gist of it is this. Lex wants Lois to retire by any means necessary because it was her words that cost him 17 years of his life and now his daughter won't even talk to his ass son also this scene is just awesome in general because this man also just bitched superman in front of his wife superman's like oh that's enough and man was like shut your mouth and this man has superman quiet to let him finish the gist of what he still wanted to say and then only then when lex stepped to lois a little more further that's when superman's like i think you need to leave <laughs> Man, 
man really waited 17 years, son, just to walk from the prison to Superman Lois's farm and to tell them to Lois to retire, bitch Superman in front of his wife in his own crib, and then walks off their porch and just says casually, oh yeah, by the way, niggas, tell Superman he's next too. Y'all some next level hating ass shit, son. I ain't even gonna lie. Also, I am positive that this nigga knows that Clark Kent is Superman because the way he was me mugging that motherfucker, son, in the end of that conversation makes me to believe that, yeah, I know who you are, motherfucker. Got a hand to Lex, so that's some real dedication. Waited 17 years, bitch Superman for his wife, told Superman's wife to retire, and then walked off and told Superman. Man, you're next after just bitching in front of his wife. It's all crib. That's some next level dedication right there. Unlike you fucking amazing Spider-Man fans, cause where are y'all at? This is completely off topic, so I need to talk about this shit. So your boy went recently to see Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Watch both them hoes in the movie theater. And y'all already know I love both them fucking movies, son. And still fucking heat to this day. When I went to go see Amazing Spider-Man 2, why the fuck there's only 20 people in that theater? I want a full sellout. Where y'all niggas at? All on Twitter. All typing away and shit. Oh, we need Amazing Spider-Man 3. Alright, then show the fuck up for Maze Spider-Man 2 so we can show Sony stop making the Venom let there be garbage bullshit and we can get Maze Spider-Man 3 when it was time to show up, y'all niggas weren't there! But nah, not me, I represent for the Spider-Man and Society! <clears throat> now I got that off my chest, let's get right into the rest of this shit. After Lex leaves Superman Lowe's crib, this man then goes to where the Bruno Mannerheim's laboratory is at, son. He investigates that shit, one of his henchmen, and he comes to discover Bizarro ah, eating some dead rat, son. So he captures this motherfucker after shooting him some kryptonite, realizing that this motherfucker can come back to life. And each time he comes back, he gets stronger. So Lex asks Bizarro to let him kill him so nothing on this planet could kill him ever again. And Bizarro agrees. So we get this dope fast montage of Lex and his crew killing Bizarro a multitude of fucking ways, son. Also, we get to meet my favorite scene in this entire season, because this shit was funny as fuck. We need more! This nigga is crazy. It's just so fucking funny and out of pocket in this scene, because I just did not expect this fucking even happening in the show, yo. <laughs> And then it looks his henchman and henchwoman fucking look at each other at, yo. Nah, that shit funny. Hold on, let me join a screaming contest. <laughs> After a whole month of these motherfuckers just killing Bizarro over and over again, they finally turn his ass into Doomsday. Now the final step of Lex's plan is a go, and that is to kill the man of so Superman's all the way up in space because he's looking for Lex Luthor because that motherfucker took Lois' pops. So he hears that motherfucker rolling in in his crib. I'm telling y'all, he know who that motherfucker is. Lex exits the car and they both mean mug each other's son and talking their trash. And then Lex tells Superman this cold ass line. Think about dying, Superman. You're about to. Man calls upon Doomsday and he smashes through Superman's barn. And look how this man pulls up. <laughs> Man is so gangster, he got Satan and the demons on the track! Fires on as Doomsday grabs Superman, palms him down to the floor, tosses his ass to the fucking Sky Dome, son. All the way to the Smallville streets. Superman tells his friends and family to back the fuck off, son, because y'all don't want this smoke. And he gives one last look to Lois and takes fucking Doomsday away from Smallville. Ah. And as they are flying in midair, Doomsday gets the upper hand of the flight fight and proceeds to just keep punching the shit out of my boy Sue. Man then grabs Superman and tosses his ass into the ocean. And Superman gets speared down to the ocean floor, trying to get drowned by Doomsday. But Superman decides to be smart about him and freezes that motherfucker into a block of ice. Superman picks this motherfucker up, but proceeds to notice that this dude is breaking free from the ice. So he notices the Empire State looking building. But we toss that motherfucker to the pointy part, impaling Doomsday. 
presumably killing his ass. Superman goes ahead to alert the people that, yo, everything's all sweet. Motherfucker been defeated, son. Or so he thinks because he hears Doomsday coming back to life, taking out the damn pointy shit out of his abdomen and ready for more of the fame. Superman charges at Doomsday only to get clotheslined into the fucking subway station, son. And proceeds to get comboed down to the floor, slam slams and shit, yell that. Man gets fucking tossed to another part of the subway station like a fucking pinball. Then Doomsday picks up this motherfucker, slamming him into the other side of the subway station where the people are at killing bad motherfuckers. Let's be honest, all them motherfuckers are dead. They just want to show that shit. And then gets slammed into the fucking wall repeatedly and then thrown to the other side of Subway! Superman gets back up with heavy CTE, but still decides to charge forward to this motherfucker, only to get a flaming punch to clear that motherfucker's clocka. And then he gets the signature Hulk smash round and pound combo. Superman gets picked up by Doomsday out of the subway and gets fucking flown up to the stratosphere. And with the power of the sun juicing him up and him remembering his family, he bakes free of Doomsday's grasp and proceeds to do the Injustice 2 Super Move combo, punching his ass all the way to the fucking moon. And both these motherfuckers reset their fucking bounds and get ready for the fight. Final round. Nah. Doomsday takes off the kryptonite in his fucking arms and charges at Superman while Superman flies at Doomsday and they both get a dope fast slow mo shot of these motherfuckers about to clash. And then we get a title card because they ran out of budget. All in all, son, this show is fucking dope as hell and I highly recommend y'all to check this shit out if y'all want y'all Superman live action fix before James Gunn comes out with the new shit. I'll probably talk about some other shit that happened on this fucking show like Steel. And obviously the last season, me and the black man probably hop on and do the reactions again for the show weekly, so we might do that shit for the show. But all that depends on y'all. Y'all want more? Let us know. We're gonna give it to ya. Now if y'all don't mind, your boy has a fucking birthday to set up, cause on the 21st on Tuesday, it's the black man's birthday. So uh, if y'all made it this far, y'all will know that there is a video coming out on Tuesday celebrating the black man's birthday. Love y'all. Peace. Shut his nigga, he's out of my medium It disappeared like Houdini Let his body drive to the floor Splash land, now we dead Body shots from me head This man came for the rest I ain't let him get the rest Steady nigga got pressed Shooting threes in my feet